I'm going to tell you this because one, it might make you understand me a bit better and two, um, someone watching this might actually uh, be a bit helped by this. I mean I didn't know until maybe three, four months ago that this was even a thing, that I, that I had this. HSP stands for Highly Sensitive Person. This is not considered a disorder, it's considered a personality trait and it exists in about 15 to 20 percent of the population. This expression has existed for about uh, 20 years, um, but this is something that has existed for way longer than that, probably as long as um, there has been life on this planet. Signs that you might be a highly sensitive person include being incredibly moved by music and art, other people's moods affect you, you need more alone time than most other people you know, places with a lot of lights and a lot of sounds and a lot of people overwhelm you easily, you get upset by violence on TV and in films, you get very attached to things and find it hard to let some things go, you're sensitive to pain, sounds, bright lights, you have a very complex inner life, People often tell you that you're shy or too sensitive or take things too personally. You try very hard to avoid making mistakes. You cry easily. Making decisions take you a long time. HSP is also linked to depression, intelligence and creativity. Personally, I cry a lot. I cry when I'm sad. I cry when I'm happy. I cry when I'm angry. I, I cry when I watch the news. I cried when I got my first dislike here on YouTube. By the way, YouTube, remove the dislike button. It's not doing anyone any good. And no one uses it for the right reasons. I've always needed ages to decide things for myself. Like it's life or death. Which kind of flavour ice cream I get. Like at places where I have to socialise, I can stand at the most three hours before my brain turns to complete mush and I can't do anything, literally. I think that the most difficult thing is that most people don't understand me. I mean, it's like, I mean, I, I've lived my entire life not even knowing that they, this was a thing. Um, but you know, now, now that I do, I feel like it's explaining a lot and a lot of my behavior. And it's like people tell me all the time, don't take it so personally. Oh, move on. It's not that easy for me. And I feel like especially like my need to be alone is probably a bit weird to people. Like literally having to leave people because it's just all too much. It's not considered a very normal thing. And I mean, I have times where I spend like four days doing absolutely nothing other than being sad for no apparent reason whatsoever. I'm just, I'm just sad. I'm just not feeling well. I feel like nothing has a point. Nothing has like a meaning. And I just listen to sad music and cry and I'm just sad about nothing. And then it goes away by itself. And I feel like even though it's very annoying at times, I, I wouldn't trade this for the world. It's just, it's just the way that I am and the way that I work and the way that I was supposed to be. It's just it's just a bit sad that I didn't realise until that recently. I feel like just knowing that this is a thing has been very helpful for me. I can, you know, the days when I when I get sad or when I have a hard time letting go of things, that I can just step back and be like, okay, don't be so hard on yourself. This is just the way that you are. This is the way that you were built, um, and and I, it's it's a lot easier to to excuse myself instead of beating myself down over it. And that's why I feel like even if making a video talking about it might not be like groundbreaking, or you know, it's not going to change the world. But I hope that maybe someone watching this. It's gonna be like, oh my god, this is this is how I feel, and I might have this um, this personality trait too. In case you feel like you're interested in this, or like interested in knowing more, 
Uh, I'm going to link to some articles down here and if, if you're still hungry for education, um, use Google. Uh, you can also, if you want, like, ask me a question down there um, and I'll try to answer it as, as well as I can. My only goal for this is maybe to raise a bit more awareness of this um, so that maybe one day everyone knows about this and so no one will ever again have to feel weird for leaving a party or dinner or whatever <laughs> early. I love you all so much. You are so supportive of me and what I do. I, I feel every day like I, I, I don't even deserve all, all the wonderful comments you leave and I'm just very happy that you're there for me and that you want to listen to what I have to say to you. Um, thank you so much for that. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye.